All right, everybody. All right, this is Zane from Really Easy AI. And man, have we got news today. Uh, OpenAI just popped GPT-4 O, the letter O, lowercase, and free users are going to be getting it. So let's jump into it, shall we? Because uh, this is pretty exciting news. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you get a chance. Love to have you with the channel. All right, here we go. So uh, this was just announced, new model GPT-4 O, and free users will now have access to features such as experience GPT-4 level intelligence, get responses from the model and the web, analyze data, chat about photos, upload files for assistance summarizing, writing, or analyzing, discover and use GPTs in GPT store, and build a more helpful experience with memory. So if you're a prior free user and hadn't had a chance to do any of this, and you wouldn't have if you were a free user because you were using ChatGPT 3.5, I'm going to walk you through all of this and show you how awesome it is. Let's begin with GPT-4 level intelligence. Why is that a big deal? It's a big deal because GPT-4 passed the law school exam, the bar exam. It can be a lawyer. It also passed the medical exam, U.S. medical licensing exam with flying colors. In fact, it has passed a whole lot of exams and has done so very, very well. Way better than the free version you were using, GPT-3.5, where it got good scores, don't get me wrong, but not great scores. GPT-4 and now GPT-4... Um, uh, o blows it out of the water. It's just insanely good. And by the way, um, you can uh, check the, all this out for yourself. I'll leave a link to my slide deck so you can check all this out and links in the description, or sorry, links in the, um, uh, in the slide decks for you as well. All right, responses from the web. Let's go ahead and check that out. And uh, so that was pretty easy actually. Uh, let me show you here. I'm in ChatGPT, the new GPT-4.0, and whenever you ask it something that it doesn't know uh, or is beyond its cutoff date, for example, you may not realize it, but all these things have a cutoff date. So we're going to ask, what is your cutoff date? And this is the cutoff date from the uh, for the knowledge it has. So this cutoff date is October 2023. So anything beyond that, it has no knowledge of. So if I ask it, what is the weather like today in Houston, where I live, well, it wouldn't know that because that's today. So it's got to go out to the internet and search, and yes, there it finds it. So it will automatically go and browse the internet if it doesn't have the knowledge uh, to answer your question. Very cool. How about analyzing data? Well, that's seriously cool too, and you'll have access to that now. So I'm going to start a new chat real quick. And I'm going to say something along the lines of, uh, give me a summary. So I'm going to give it some data. And I'm going to say, give me a summary of this data. So this is just a little spreadsheet here, some data. Uh, give me a summary of this data and two visualizations. And this thing is insanely fast now. I mean, blazingly fast. Uh, and here it goes. Boom. Data set contains measurements of penguins. Yes, it does. From different islands. You got it. Uh, it gives me some data on it, and now it's creating the visualization. So it's going to create a couple of uh, plots for me, and we'll give it a second to do that. And there they are. There's a box plot right there, flipper link uh, by species, and there's a nice scatter plot. Actually, it's categorization, showing me categories of stuff. So very, very cool. So yes, it can take your spreadsheets, you can tell it to analyze it, give you stuff, and it will take care of business for you. Pretty awesome, particularly if you're coming from the free side. Now let's talk about chatting with photos. That gets a little more interesting too. Uh, for example, maybe I have a photo of some mystery food that uh, somebody gave me, and I have no idea what it is. So here it is, photo of mystery food. And I say, um, you know, I say to uh, ChatGPT, what is this uh, and how do I make it? So we give it to ChatGPT. There's the mystery food, by the way, if you don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. And it goes, instantly goes, yep, no problem. This appears to be beef stroganoff, a classic Russian recipe, and here's how you make it. I mean, it's nearly instantaneous how fast this thing is. Nutty, nutty fast. So very, very cool. Awesome stuff. Uh, continuing along, so what else do we have? Well, we can upload files for summarizing too. Again, seriously cool stuff. 
So I have a story here by Ray Bradbury called The Velt. And it can be anything you want, but I'm going to have it do a summary of this story here. And I'm going to say uh, something along the lines of, give me a one paragraph... Uh, uh, give me one paragraph on this story and three bullet points that tell me what it is about. And away it goes. So it reads it, and then boom. The Velt, Summary and Key Points by Ray Bradbury. George and Lydia Hadley live in a futuristic home. And away we go. Key points, futuristic technology, parental concern, deadly consequences. Yeah, spot on. Spot on. Took this document, read it, and did exactly what I asked it to do. Insanely cool. Um, now, in addition to everything else, you're going to get access to GPTs and the GPT store. Now, what does that mean? Well, um, forever, paid folks have had access to this area called Explorer GPTs. And so now you'll have access to it. These are just customized versions of chat GPT that you can make or other people have made. So uh, here's some examples of what other people have made. Consensus, Universal Primer. They got categories if you want uh, art. There's Dali there for making images. Writing, Write For Me, Humanizer Pro, Copywriter, GPT, Marketing, Branding Ads, Productivity, Research and Analysis, Programming if you write code, Education, very cool, and Lifestyle. So you'll be able to take advantage of these GPTs. Let's pick one here. How about... Uh, how about Logo Creator here? So Logo Creator, we'll start a chat and we'll say, uh, we'll just take his recommendation. Give me a logo featuring an ice cream. And away it goes. Before I judge you, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Would you like the logo to be vibrant, neutral, or serious? Let's do vibrant. Great choice. Next on scale of 110, how simple and detailed would you like? Let's make it very detailed. Understood. Uh, let's do B. Option B. Would you like to generate a single logo? Okay. Uh, would you like to generate a single logo design? Yeah, just one. And away it goes. Thanks for providing all the information. And in a minute, we should get our wonderful image. So it's taking all that, somebody created a custom deal to ask us those questions, walk us through it, and yep, there you go. Nice, cool image, huh? Pretty sweet. So you'll be able to take advantage of that as well. Uh, last, but certainly not least, we have memory. Uh, this one's relatively new, uh, even to regular users of ChatGPT. It's in your, um, it's actually on by default, but uh, I've turned mine off. So you can actually find it in uh, settings personalization and here it says memory and so here chat gpt will become more helpful as you chat picking up on details uh, and preferences to tailor its responses to you to understand what chat gpt remembers or teaches something new just chat with it remember what that i like concise responses i got a puppy what do you remember about me where did we leave off on my last project so with it on it will remember things about you and what you like so for example um i have Two dogs, uh, one named uh, one named Daisy, and one named uh, Misty, and it's gonna remember that memory updated right there. And then I can say, "What do you know about me?" And it knows that I have uh, two dogs. And so as you go forward, it will pick up other things that you do as you type. And it will remember those things over time and make sure to craft uh, responses and things to your preference. So very, very cool. Um, you decide if you like it or not. I, I actually do use it for personal, but not when I'm doing demos and stuff. I have to turn it off, obviously. But there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, we made it to the end. And some really, really great stuff going on. So very cool. And there's my alarm telling me it's time to end the session. Hopefully you enjoyed that. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.